Hello, 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 friends. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, thank you and welcome. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the video, my content. And if you do, please do those YouTube -y things like like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It'd be very much appreciated. And to all my dear friends and true blues out there, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. It really, truly does. So, uh, I have an unboxing for you today. Um, let me see if I should turn the light on a bit. Mm, we'll see if that works better. Well, no, until I turn the, the painting over. Um, but I have an unboxing for you or, you know, to show you a product that um, I got from DP Clubs. Yes, my dear friends from DP Clubs. You know, I like to occasionally get a custom from these, oh, by the way, that Scarlet making noise in the background. She's been quiet all morning until I decide to film. Now she wants to let her the world know she's here with you. So if, uh, if you don't know, Scarlet is my 17, yes, I said 17-year-old uh, pet dove. And she lives here in the kitchen. <laughs> and she's in her cage banging on her mirror. Um, so sorry for the noise. Um, plus I have a fan on because it's hot today. Anyways, um, back to what I was trying to say is that I like to get, um, customs made, you know, who doesn't like the custom dime painting in the begin with, right? But since I do the PR stuff for them, uh, I occasionally will get a custom done, um, just to show off that they actually do do them. Uh, they make them, they're fairly uh, reasonable priced. And they're pretty good quality. I've never had an issue with the um, few I've had done. I'm actually working on a custom now. I don't remember who I got it from, uh, maybe a year or two ago. Um, and so, yes, so they do do customs. Uh, and they also have custom cross stitch, I think, too, if you, you're into that thready stuff. So that's the one thing I have for you. I will link down below in the description the link to the custom part on their website. Um, so I got a 60 by 60 round, you know, cause me, I'm a round person for the most part. Um, here are our drills. They're individually bagged. And as you can see here, there's a lot of orange in this one. I'm actually going to turn that off. That might be a little too much glare with that light on. Um, maybe I could do a little indirect light. Let's see, or change the color. Maybe that's a little better. I don't know. Anyways, so I want to talk about this. I'm going to show you it right away um, and talk a little about what I got. I'm so excited um, about this. It just it looks fabulous, and I'm just so happy with it. Oh, by the way, before I show you, I will say this. So it is a, is it a 70 by 70 or 60? No, it's a 60 by 60. Now, you might see a crease down here. Because, yes, this was folded again. So if you had seen previous videos, um, I've been doing a stained glass series and I've gotten a quite a uh, handful of canvases that were 70 by 70 and they came folded. Now, the difference was this one was folded just this way. Um, the other ones were folded this way and then again, in a, you know, to make it a, 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 squ a square. This was just folded in half and then the drills were placed around and they rolled it up this way. So it was compact. It was nice and compact. I prefer that the way they did this than the other ones, how they were folded. But still, it is a fold. It does not matter really to the canvas itself when you're drilling. Um, again, I worked on one that's been folded. It doesn't have, there's not really an issue there, but we really just don't want any creases or anything. You know, we don't want to risk anything. So I wish they would just roll them. You know, just get roll them in a in a light. I should say, roll them lightly on a fold foam roller, not tight, but lightly, and just shove them that way so they don't get. Otherwise, sometimes a lot of times the tops of them will get all bent and squished. It is what it is. You can't help it. But usually they're perfectly fine. You just have to let them sit under something for a few days. Anyways, um, tra train track, Chris. Where were you going with this? Oh, I just wanted to let you know about that, because that's why if you see this crease, that's because it was folded in half. Okay, so like I said, it's a 60 by 60 round, 
five minutes in. I haven't showed you yet. All right, here we go. This is my custom. So it's like a kind of a pop artist style. Um, I'm going to show you up close first before I get into talking about it. Let me give you the specs and the info on it. Uh, so there are 26 colors. Um, they do it how I like it. One through eight. And then uh, the rest are all letters. Uh, love it. Lots of color blocking. Yes, I look at it. There will be some. As my per usual gripe about colors that don't need to be there. Um, but that's, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to show you. So you can see if you want. I'll show you up close first. And you can see. So that's where the crease was. And you can see the crease. But when you dime paint it, it won't really matter. It, it's all right. It's perfectly sticky and fine. But here is our information. As you can see, 60 by 60. And I guess the custom number that they have it for the thumbnail and the color list. Um, you can also see while we're here, the drill field, perfectly lovely and clear. Okay, so let's talk about this first. So um, at the, by the way, at the end of the video, after I do all my uh, talking about it, um, I'm going to put a video clip in at the end of the video. So stay tuned after, you know, the goodbyes for a little video clip. So what is this I have here? First off, I think this is a piece of fan art. I'm not too sure. There is a little signature here. I don't know if that's the person who did it. I took this from um, a, a, online, a obviously um and i don't know if you know who this is but uh i am you know if you don't know i am gay myself and this is a drag queen <laughs> so i'm not a huge person to drag i i certainly never want to do it myself that's not me um i have seen rupaul's drag race occasionally um and you know, this just happens to be my favorite queen. Now, this person, the name, her name, the queen, her drag queen name is Miss Coco Peru. I don't know if you know who that is. Again, stay tuned for the clip. Um, but I don't think she's ever been on RuPaul's Drag Race. So if you thought that was where. But I'm going to tell you uh, the history behind it. So there's a movie from the 90s, a fabulous, funny, funny movie with Patrick Swayze, um, John Leguizamo, and Wesley Snipes called To Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. Um, and it's about a, three drag queens who are going cross-country trip in a car and they get stuck in a small middle America kind of town, southern town. And But before, in the beginning, in the early part of the movie, there were cameos of real drag queens, including RuPaul and Coco Peru. Um, and that's probably the first time I've ever seen Coco Peru. Um, it's just a small cameo. Um, she did have lines. Uh, I think Ru and Coco is the only ones that might have had lines um, in it, I think, of the re actual real queen, in life queens. Um, and so that's the first time I've probably seen her. And then I, you know, and I don't go to, I haven't been to, I haven't seen her in real life or in person or in a club or anything but um i've seen her in a number of different ways first there she's like a comedy queen so why do i love her she's not like coco Peru is not like a lot of the queens you'll see nowadays or well i guess i don't know maybe always but you know with the exaggerated wigs and hair and costumes you know, she's the kind of queen that I kind of, again, I, I want to identify with things, whether it's movies or TV music. Uh, uh, things I like, I kind of identify with. So I kind of see her, I want to hear her, and I'm like, I identify with Coco Peru. First off, she's from New York originally, and I'm from New Jersey, so, you know, sister states. Um, 
And, you know, she dresses basically like a woman. You know, no crazy makeup, no crazy hair. It's the kind of, and she makes fun of it too, because she's like, I had this hairstyle first. The uh, Brie Vandekamp hair from Desperate Housewives, you know, the red hair with the flip. Um, and, you know, just a pretty dress and everything. And that's kind of, and it's funny. And so that, to me, I'm thinking, this is what I like. That This is what I gravitate to. Um, I don't necessarily gravitate to the more outrageous kind of, you know, queens or anything. So there's that. Um, and I seen her do a, a, she had a stand up on like the logo channel or something or one of the channels. Um, there's like a half hour stand up special she did. And it's hilarious. I love it. Um, that's another way she has been in a few movies. Um, I think the only one I did see her was, was Chu Wang Fu. And, um, so there's the movies, there's the stand up, and there's also, um, videos online. So there are two things. Uh, Coco, uh, there's a website. I don't remember the name of it. Um, it was Conversations with Coco where she would sit down with like celebrities. Um, and I remember a few years ago, she was trying to actually get an actual show made um, to do it, but I guess it was unfortunately didn't, wasn't able to go anywhere or, you know, nobody bought it. Um, you know, she'd sit down with like people like Lou Tomlin and, you know, things like that and a whole bunch of other people. And there are clips, Liza Minnelli, there are clips and maybe parts of the whole shows on this one website um, where the, I think it was filmed at the certain theater. Um, it's like an interview kind of uh, thing. And it was very funny and really great. Um, all these, you know, her interviewing classic, you know, icons. Um, so that's another way I've seen her. She has her own, of course, Instagram and YouTube page. And what's great is over COVID times, she really took to YouTube um, because you know, everybody was shut in and she's an entertainer and you couldn't, entertainment was shut down. So, um, she would, you know, do uh, stuff there. She'd actually perform, uh, have shows online perform. I don't think I've actually seen one of the shows. Um, I think you had to buy tickets or something, but I don't remember. Um, but she would do videos and she actually inspired, um, my own videos, um, in my early baby YouTube days, if you, you can always go back, look, maybe find one of her. I've only did a couple, but I really should bring it back. Um, uh, she talked about in her own video about um, this thing. She has a plaque and it said something about how the little things in life are really the big things. And so I took that idea and rolled with it myself. And I, um, I printed that little slogan out on a thing and I showed it in a video and I would do it in a video. And, um, I have like obviously keepsakes and things in my own house and, you know, my own belongings that, you know, are just little tiny things that mean a lot to me. You know, it's not necessarily the big, you know, uh, fancy thing, but it's, you know, it could be as simple as a ticket stub or, you know, a stuffed animal or, you know, things like that. And it, because they hold memories. And so that's what she was doing, things like that and, you know, other kinds of videos. So that's really how I know her. That's why I love her. You know, she's extremely funny. Um, and I love the little, she just still, uh, just still does Instagram, Instagram, um, you know, shorts and uh, little videos. Doesn't do the YouTube much anymore. Oh, she did something um, that I love that my friends do, like someone like Shay or, you know, um, uh, Susie. You know, it's, it's shopping with Coco. And she, she there's videos where she goes shopping uh, at certain stores and, you know, and it's just, she's very sarcastic and, uh, you know, again, I just love her. I love, love, love her. So that's who she is. And um, this, again, I think is probably a fan art thing done, I'm assuming. Um, and so I see the picture and it looked really good. And so I was like, you know what, why not? Again, it's in the pop art kind of style. And uh, I just love her. So um, let's talk about the canvas a little bit. As you could see, the background is all this orange color. That is 742. So we look at our drills. We have two big bags of those. And, you know, again, we have neutrals for the skin and pinks for the skin. We have the little purple and burgundies in there, a little bit of brown. Um, and 
you know, again, her hair is look, is really great. I love how that looks, um, the definition in there with the hair. That's going to come out really great with those um, different colors there. Her eyes are going to be beautiful. They look like um, grayish, bluish eyes. Uh, her The mouth looks great. The nose looks great. I mean, it, this looks a really great render. Again, 60 by 60, fabulous. The rings, bracelets, the hands look great. Um, the nails, you know, I might do, uh, well, I'll get to that in a minute. And her top, which is um, like a purple top with the polka dots. So, uh, again, everything looks very clear. No problem seeing anything. No guide circles. The only kind of circle-ish thing you might see is in the black area where it's uh, the... Is that black? No, it's 939. This is the dark blue area, which is the Q symbol. So the, uh, the Q is a dark color, and then there's a like grayish sim um, color in the back. And then the, you know, kind of the blue. That's the only kind of like where it looks like it's a circle, but the drill will cover that. You won't see anything, and it, there's not going to be any popping through. No issues there. It's really good. The stick is nice. Um, again, I never had an issue with any customs that I've had from the budget companies. They're all really good from what I've come across. Um, so let's talk about what I'm going to do with this. So I'm probably going to leave the background all completely this orange color. And I'm going to leave the hair alone. Now, let's start from the bottom. What am I going to do? The bracelets. I'm probably going to do something in the bracelets. I'm probably going to make the use the color that they gave, which is this like kind of purplish and reddish color. But in here, in the white area, which is supposed to be this, you know, the sparkly, shiny part, um, I might use white ABs or some sort of crystal, maybe. I'll do it that way. And her uh, top here, you know, there's, again, the polka dots. I have um, larger, I could use special gems. So I could, you know, use a bunch of red, um, random, um, what do you call it? just certain different and different size uh, and color gems. I could and I actually could just make my own pattern really and place them mostly anywhere. I won't just do it haphazard because the color it is around so the color will come out come from the back somewhat. So um, I will try to stick to the pattern as best as I can. but I will probably use special gems on there. as you can see over here, it's more defined, you know, so I could use a large, gem or like say this could be half pearl you know this could be like an amethyst this could be a blue you know we'll see so those those will definitely be judged up in that area here as it was there for her three rings she has three rings this one this one and this one so this one over here is a ruby like a ruby ring so i'll probably use crystals red crystals in here and then for the gold on here i'll probably use gold metallics and right through the middle I'm not sure yet that's the one thing I'm not sure what I want to do with the to make that little definition where it has the like shiny part I don't know if I should do a white AB maybe that'd probably be the best because if you just put a regular one it might look weird with the metallic so I might use like a white AB in the middle area a little bit now her nails, now she is somebody who uses, and because she, I know this because it's in her, one of her videos, I believe she likes the French tips. Um, the thing is it met, it, 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 um, it kind of blends in a little bit too much with her, her flesh color on her hand. So unless I make it clearly defined that this is her fingernail um, with a completely black around it, which I could certainly do, and I probably will do. I'll either keep maybe the flesh part and then the white tip. Or I'll just maybe change it to a solid kind of color. Maybe like a red or a purple since she has purple on here. Um, we'll see. It doesn't have to be accurate. But um, I'm probably not I'm not going to do anything to the face as far as ABs or crystals. Except for the eyes. I'm probably going to change the color eye. Um, either leave it as a blue or a grayish color, and I'll probably use maybe rhinestones in there. Um, 
But yeah, it, it looks really, really great, guys. GP Clubs did a fabulous job. And, you know, look at the eyelashes and everything. Look how good it looks. I mean, the mouth, I love the definition. You can see that on the nose. The little um, indentations for the face and the hands down here. I mean, it looks really fabulous. So, there we have it. Again, I, I just, it's simple. There's not much else to talk about. Um, I just wanted to show you this and um, talk about her, tell you why I love her. And I'm going to show you exactly why I love her. And I hope you do too. I'm going to put a, a video of her at next um, so you all can enjoy it. Um, I'll put the link to her channel down as well since it is from her you know give give credit where credit's due and all that um i'm just coco i'm a big fan of yours i don't know if you'll ever see this probably not but uh i truly appreciate you and your comedy um and uh i don't know when i'm gonna get to this probably not this year i might do this for my retro cult classic in february so i might get this done for february and um yeah, so thanks for joining me all. I truly appreciate it. DP Clubs, thank you so, so much for this fabulous canvas. It looks wonderful. Um, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, remember, links in the description below. Any links. I forgot to say that, I think, in the beginning of the video. Any links like uh, store links, discount codes, social medias will be down below in the description. As well as, again, Coco's uh, website and the YouTube channel. Um, Instagram, all that. I'll try to remember to put that all down there. And um, remember, stay for the clip, please. But I'll give you my sign off right now. Everybody, please be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, bye, guys. Enjoy the clip. This gigantic seagull just flew over the corn now. For those of you that don't know California, we are so far away from the ocean. They fly all the way out here to scavenge. Now, what are you doing? See, you're, what are you doing? What's happening? I'm going to go this way. It's a little shortcut, but and I don't think the kids get out of school. What it is about... Sometimes you have to avoid this route because the mothers... What is it about mothers picking up their children at school that just is nightmarish? You're driving along, and the next thing you know, you are caught in a nightmare of mothers picking up their children. And they get so, you know, righteous about picking up their children. My child... I'm here for my child, and it's like suddenly you're a nobody with no rights of how to get around and out of their traffic that they're causing. But it's, they're not here right now, so we're good. My mother didn't pick me up from school. No, we walked back and forth miles and miles. Actually, it was a few blocks. But uh, winter, you know, we walked, we got exercise. There was no picking up. No, oh no. No, I had to walk past all those bullies back and forth from school every single day trying to figure out new routes to get there so I could avoid them. This was my life. But look at me now. <laughs> a well-adjusted middle-aged drag queen. That's another thing. They fill the garbage, these big bins, so full with garbage that they leave it open. And then, the, you know, a gust of wind comes and half the garbage is blowing down Victory Boulevard. And you know where it lands? My house. You know, there is a second-hand store in here, here and I'm, I'm afraid it closed. I hope it didn't. We could go in there and look at crap. I love walking through a junk store and finding the uh, the gem. Most of the time, you never find the gem. Though. You just find more crap you don't need. That's why I love Antique Roadshow. It just blows my mind when people come in there and, you know, I bought this for a dollar and it's worth, you know, four million. Of course, I love the people that think they they bring in something really special and they tell them it's worth 200 and they try and act excited like, wow, but you can tell they're like, really? $200? And they just want to walk out and break it for the 200 bucks it's worth. Here's that store, Michael. It's called Valley Value Center. It used to be a record. It's still open. How funny. It was closed the other day, I guess, because it was the weekend. Should we go in? Yeah, I do not look like I fit in here. I mean, I don't fit in anywhere, but we'll get some stairs, Michael. But, you know, I like that. You know, you're brightening people's day up, even if they're laughing at you. That's another thing, kids. If people are laughing at you, 
and mocking you, just send them a just send them a good wish. You took them out of their reality for a few minutes. That's that's you actually gave them a gift. You took them out of their hateful, boring, day-to-day, awful reality. Think of it that way. You just gave them a gift. I'm literally going in circles right now because I'm not finding a spot that I like. I need a specific. This is a, this is not a bad spot. Oh, yeah. No, this is this is good. That says no value center parking. And I read it as, yeah, we can park here. It's called aging. Just, you know, you, you, your brain just starts short-circuiting. I was late for a dinner party last night, and my husband was on my case the whole day. Are you sure it's at 7.30? I was so sure it was at 7.30. We got there at 7.30. We walk in, and every, all the other guests were already there. And I didn't even interpret as that, like, maybe I've made a mistake. I thought, wow, everyone got here early. Usually I'm early. No, it started at 7. I was mortified that they had a whole dinner. My mother always tells me, don't worry, honey, it just gets worse. There we go. This is not a bad spot. No, I'm so excited about going to the family value center uh, because I like a nice value. Life is about choices. And right now I chose to come to the family value center. And look at this fabulous red tile. I'm trying to make it work. Oh, this is terrible lighting in here. You say potato. And I say frittata. Potato. Terrible lighting in here. I think I just found myself bargain at the family value center. Looks Right? No? Oh. Okay. A hefty handful of hats is what they've got here. I've been saying family value center. It's the valley value center. That's so hard for me to say. Silver shoes. They got silver shoes. Ariel had a rough night. Ariel's been a part of this world a little too long. Oh, here's Ariel with life. Poor Ariel. Yeah, she's, 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 you know, no one cares about Ariel anymore except me. I'm rescuing Ariel. This is a crime. This is a princess here. And you're treating her like this? Oh, I don't think so. Where's the Disney magic? Oh, this is the one from Frozen. She's already, uh, yeah, she's already, you know, they get rid of them nowadays so fast. What could be more frightening than putting two dolls in a plastic bag that have nothing to do with well, it? Well, that bothers me. Because that's not nightmarish. Let's take a frightening baby doll and put it in a plastic bag with another doll, like, hanging off its back. No, this is just terrifying this is like this is a display actually like a haunted mansion Jesus christ would love this look at she's turning blue from being in this plastic bag so long poor thing which is more terrifying right now in this lighting really this reminds me because you know, i fly a lot on planes i'm always laughing at the, the women who get up and they don't realize that they have basically this what's happening here and there was one flight attendant who said ladies remember which is which is fabulous that's a woman who knows how to do her job she's keeping it real there's no hope for this stuff where's the dignity no they got your wedding gown because nothing says bride to be like the valley valley do you think I could pull it off? Yeah. Who the hell buys 500-piece puzzle at a second-hand store? 
because you know after you get to like the 497th piece you realize oh great there's three pieces missing no 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 happy hanukkah but look they could have cleaned it maybe there's still wax this is cute or egg on your little personal egg pan that bothers me the drag on the glass I think this might be a bird bath, I'm not sure. It's either a bird bath or a dry clean glass. It's delightful. This isn't. What's this? What's happening? Oh, it's firework. It's a 4th of July display. One Grecian urn. No, seriously, they really have everything. All we need now is a bathtub. They even have a crock pot, but not the Wonder Woman crock. Apparently not a bestseller. They still have the tags on. Look at that. Wouldn't it be great if I bought all these and gave them to drag queens and we all had the same purse? And then like one day a year, we could all use our hideous green bag on the same day. And no, that we're all using the same green bag on the same day. I don't know, there's something special about that. But I just found out they were $1.99 a piece. And you know, for a dollar, I do it. Not, not for... No, but I do want to walk out like this. For a dollar, I would do it. Let's get at it. There goes the seagull again. Oh my God, look at that. He's, he's waving. Bye, Coco. Bye.